When Army Engineer is mentioned, a common image might be an Army Corps of Engineers project, or maybe a combat engineer, often called a sapper. Today, we're profiling an entirely different category of Army Engineer. These are the Army's experts in building trades. And to do that, we caught up with the 244th Engineer Company of the Maryland Army National Guard. Everything that you would need from a unit to establish a forward operating base is contained within the unit. So we have horizontal uh, elements to, to cut roads in, uh, lay down roads. We have masons that do foundation work for buildings. Uh, we have plumbers that can establish latrines, electricians, uh, hook up generators, do lighting, power, distribution. And between their equipment on inventory and highly specialized skills to use these tools, the 244th is among the most vital units to Maryland during times of emergency. We've had instances where buildings have lost power, lost heat. We can actually go into those buildings and help. The 244th is only 10 years old, in fact, but since its establishment, state of emergency activations have included three hurricanes and the blizzard of 2016. But when the waters are calm and the sun shining, the 244th trains through projects that strengthen communities, both at home and abroad. And that's no joke. Let's reveal the 244th's two-week annual training missions of recent years. 2009 was devoted to repairing roads and schools in the Dominican Republic. In 2011, the unit quite literally built a school in El Salvador. 2013, to overhaul kitchen space for the Baltimore Fire Department, a mission that received praise from the Honorable Stephanie Rawlings Blake, mayor of Baltimore. And now in 2016, to improve the campus of a National Guard supported program targeting at-risk youth. Over 150,000 young people have completed Youth Challenge Program nationally. Few units can brag about donating thousands of hours a year to brick and mortar projects that strengthen communities in need. But this one can. And what's more, the 2016 annual training mission at this Youth Challenge Academy site it's concurrently inspiring the program's attendees to also wear the flag patch. Uh, there was one cadet in particular. He wants to go active duty. He wants to be an engineer. He wants to be a carpenter. And he wants to be just like us. And we should note, for anyone wishing to join a unit like this, but does not come from a skilled trades background, well, that's the case for just about everyone here. The vast majority of our soldiers do not do this in the civilian sector. They do this during the weekend. The most inspiring aspect of this unit is its genuine altruism. Carpenters teaching electricians, masons teaching plumbers. Everyone wants to learn, and most importantly, there's a radiant sense of wanting to do good for communities and leave them in a better state than they were upon arrival. Not only is it a job that we're proud of because we're helping out the state, but it's also a way that we can all bond and learn some more things about each other. We profiled this unit on an 85 degree day. And the work day probably should end around 1600 hours, but these guys had more fire in their belly. So with permission, they pounded more water, gassed the heavy equipment, cranked chainsaws, and exchanged laughs as a dead tree at the campus main gate was chopped down in a matter of nine minutes. Our takeaway, the 244th Engineer Company's output is much greater than the sum of its tools and parts.